What are we doing here? I'm trying to find true joy, you know. What is that? True joy? It's not natural, you know. And uh, it is not an act of willpower. <laughs> like, it, you, it cannot be forced upon. Oh, I like that. that. Is... You cannot fake it, joy. Uh, we're going to see how many joyful people are in Highland Park Village. Yeah, I like that. Do you think there's a lot of true joy or uh, a No, no not, not close to a lot. Daniel, does that car make you happy? Happy but not joyful. Ooh. Yeah. What does that mean? What is this interview about? Oh, we're on joy. camera. Joy? joy? So great. Mm -hmm. What is joy? Uh, it's a feeling. What kind of feeling? Um, the best feeling. Probably, don't you think? Yeah. It's prolonged happiness. Yeah. Happiness is more uh, fleeting. Um, but I think you can have joy and still be unhappy. Can you give us an example of what we would call a fake joy? Like, it'll bring you happiness, but it wouldn't bring you actual joy. Oh. Like, uh... Fake joy. I thought you said fake. So it wouldn't be joy, it wouldn't be joy at all, really. Mm -hmm. No, something that brings you happiness and not joy? I, sure. Anything, like... Money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There we go. That's a good answer. Perfect. It's wise. Just right off the street. <laughs> they just right it. off the street. That's good. I have the cover on. Cops are coming in. So. What? Damn, what just happened in Minchies? Munchies. I think it's Minchies. Oh, sorry. Well, we talked to this the lady who works there and. She was interesting. She thought that joy and happiness were the same thing. And she she said she liked being ignored. So I don't really know how to interpret that, but... It doesn't seem like she's really joyful, you know? She wasn't joyful at yeah, all. Yeah, she didn't seem like she was joyful. Yeah. I wonder, I wonder if those things are related, you know? That, like, not wanting to be seen and, like, not being joyful. Like if that's part of it, you know, that maybe she needs, like, you can, you can need to tell good. that she just thinks that, like, life just sucks. Or, like, she likes being ignored, like, she said something about her old job where she always get to, uh, she, she was used to getting yelled at and here she's, uh, she just gets ignored. Why does she get overlooked? Because they're so rich. Yeah, it's because of the money? Yeah, she's like, they think they're so good. wealthy. So because the people are wealthier, they think they're better. Why do you think the fruit of the spirit is joy and not happiness? Um, if you could have happiness. Happiness is more one every. Because you can enjoy. like. And joy you is can, like, probably the happiness. best feeling in the world. Like joy is supernatural, you know? Yeah. It's not something that can just hit you. Yeah. So should we try to be joyful? I think that's like a big question. Mm -hmm. Or well, since it's just supernatural, do we just wait until it comes? You shouldn't just like wait until it comes and then when it like just be like all sad and depressed and then when it hits you, you be joyful. You should like be happy, but and then when it hits you, you should be joyful. I don't think you can really try to be joyful. Yeah, you know. Because since you can't fake it, then how do we be joyful? Like, what is it that like we're supposed to be joyful? Does, and we're not supposed to try. How do we become joyful? Like that, if you're not supposed to try, you're supposed to be joyful. How does that happen? I guess that's kind of like the big question. Like maybe like something could happen, and then by that happening, you could be joyful. Like what? What happens like, say, that makes you joyful? Like I don't know. This has never happened to me, but like. Say you go to like Starbucks and then you're in the drive-thru and you say, I want to buy the person behind me. And then the person after that's behind you after when they say like, yeah. oh, the person in front of you just bought this for you, they what, could maybe have a little joy. What would that be called? Like, what would you call that if you do something for somebody else? Like, what would that be? Helping others. Helping others, like serving or something like that. So that would be a good way to like become joyful, right? Yeah. Serving other people. That's a good thought. I didn't even think about that. So true joy can come through serving, right? That's cool, Dean. 
and it can come through like receiving it it's like double fold because it's like the person behind gets the mocha or whatever and it's joyful and you're joyful because you get to you help made someone, someone else right mm -hmm. that's pretty cool or maybe the person that receives the mocha is happy and you're joyful or maybe like the person that receives that gift of kindness will do that for the person behind them and it's contagious and it can, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, any last thoughts before we go back? Uh, most people don't really know the difference between uh, happiness and joy. So, uh, and you can just tell like over, by walking around here, and we should just do what we can to help spread joy. Ah. So. That's kind of like what we're called to do as Christians. Almost. Yeah. Yeah. What about you, Daniel? I think it's kind of like... I don't really know how to describe it, but we need to spread. Like, we need to get the understanding out of between joy and happiness. Yeah. Maybe we can work on that and do loss. Mm -hmm. Sound good? Yeah. Sounds really good. I like that. <laughs> All right. Yes. Break. We say